What's up, dope family? What's good? What's popping with y'all? Like, what's really popping with y'all? Because your dope sister been missing y'all. Like, I've been missing y'all good people. You feel me? I've been, been asking God, like, God, when are you going to release me back to my dope family? Like, I miss talking to them. I miss chatting and chopping up with them. Lord, like, when? So, listen, quick backstory. So, I got permission from God to pull back for a moment. And when I did that, it was just what God wanted me to do. Because God was like, yeah, come on over here. Let me talk to you. Let me let me show you some things. You know what I'm saying? And I needed to get clarity on a whole lot of stuff. You feel me? One being like my YouTube channel. Because as you all know, I talk about it all the time. I'm very transparent. This, this ain't easy for me. Like, I'm not that person that likes to be in the front of the camera. I'm just not. And every time God gives me a word, y'all just don't know how hard it is for me to actually come on this camera and do it. Like, I literally will procrastinate. I'll drag my feet. I'll do everything else besides get on this camera and do this word until God really just sit me down and be like, listen, do it. Say what I told you to say. You feel me? So, I really had to pull back because... Um, so many people in today's time, so many people nowadays are coming to YouTube, creating YouTube channels, you know, and speaking prophetic words that they're saying God told them. And let's just be real. You feel me? Let's call a spade a spade. Call it, call it what it is. You feel me? Everybody is not hearing from God. Everybody that say it, says they're hearing from God, they're getting a word from God, they were called by God, or not. You feel me? The Bible tells us to beware of um, false prophets um, that come looking, appearing like sheep, or they 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 come in sheep clothing, but on the inside, they're ravenous wolves. The Bible tells us that. The Bible tells us to be discerning, to pay attention. You feel me? And so I was, you know, just like God began to show me things. And, and, and it, there were people that God was revealing to me. And I was like, hold up, God. Like, I really wanted to make sure that it wasn't me like, because I never want to be sitting in the judgment seat. You feel me? And I'm not saying, I'm not saying, you know, that. I'm I'm not the one to call them a false prophet. God did. God said all of these people are not who they claim to be. All of these people were not sent by me. You feel me? But because I was starting to see so many, excuse me, so many um, prophetic channels, and I know that God has has um, mouthpieces and prophets and chosen ones all over this land all over this earth i know that but there are just some people that you know are using youtube as lucrative game they're saying they're speaking in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ but they're really not and it's only deception and so that's what god wants me to talk to you about today because that was my reason for pulling back. And so, like, when I did pull back, you know, when God gave me permission, because, of course, I didn't just pull back. I, I sought God on this decision. And so, I did it. And when I did it, like, it was just what I needed. And it was just what God wanted me to do. Because God was like, yeah, come on over here. Let me talk to you. Let me show you some things. Let me take you a little deeper. And so God did just that. And y'all listen, the things that God showed me, the things that he reminded me of that he had already showed me in the past, you know, few years that I forgot about or that I just did not want to speak on because there are so many things that God tells me or 
has told me that I just didn't want to speak on it because a lot of it is disheartening. A lot of it is sad. And I was just, you know, just be honest. I was being disobedient because I wasn't speaking all of God's word. Like, God would give me a word and, and it would make me feel bad. It would make me feel sad. But it was a message of warning and I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to speak it because I was like, God, these people ain't want to hear what I got to say. Like, these people don't want to hear these type of, of messages. And God was like, you're not here to please the people. You are here to please me. You are here to give them what I tell you to give them. Because once you give it to them, they no longer have an excuse. Once you speak, the people who need to hear it will hear it. You feel me? And so that's what God had to work on me with. Because I'm like, God, like, you know, I'm I'm looking at it like, you know, God, I know you called me to this YouTube channel. You feel me? And I felt like, you know, my YouTube channel was not growing. I felt like, I just didn't know. Like, I felt like, well, God, you know, I, I even started, like, second-guessing it. And how many of you know, raise your hand in the comments, that whenever you are doing God's will, whenever you are on the right path, the enemy will always stick his ugly head up in there some type of way and try to throw monkey wrenches, distractions, all kind of things in your path to make you turn back, to make you get off course, to make you go a different direction, anything to keep you from staying on that path, which is the path that God has already called you to. Oh, I thought I was sweating. But which is the path that God has called you to. And he tried to make it look like it's the wrong path by causing so much commotion and chaos and distraction and all that. And that's just one of his, you know, tricks. And uh, I don't know why, you know, he tri he trips us up so much with that very thing. Because a lot of times we don't see him, which is the enemy. A lot of times we don't see the tricks, the trickery. We don't see the deception. We don't see the distractions until after the fact. And so I was peeping gang. You feel me? I was peeping different things. And as God began to like reveal things to me and show me, because listen, I have a very strong sense of discernment and I thank God for it. Um, I, I, I love the way that God speaks to me and show me things because it keeps me, it keeps my eyes open. It keeps my ears open. It keeps me aware. You feel me? It keeps me ahead sometimes when I pay attention, when I listen. Um, but anyway, so God pulled me back. He, he, he let me go a little deeper and y'all listen. That's exactly what I want to talk to you all about today because Back in March, um, well, let me first say this. God wants me to tell his people, you all, open your eyes and don't be deceived. Because everything that you are seeing that's coming to the forefront, God said, it's all him. God, the way he said, he said, it's all me. This is my doing. It's all me. So God said, this is all him. You feel me? And so I had a dream in March of this year. And y'all listen, it's so crazy because this dream actually reminded me of the a dream that God had actually given me in 2021, maybe 2021, 2022. I can't remember. I think it was 2021. But anyway. The dream that God gave me in March. So, in my dream, we were on this really large cruise ship. Or we were, yeah, we were on this large cruise ship. But the cruise ship was docked. 
So people were coming on to the cruise ship and I'm talking about people were, boy, were they coming on? Like they were coming on and they were, they was filling this cruise ship up. And you know how like on the main level of the cruise ship where you got all of the, the eating buffets and where all of the events take place, that area of the cruise ship, it didn't look like the normal cruise ship. But in my dream, there were people lined up all along the walls, like vendors who were selling like different things, different items and stuff and then there was this like on the other end of the cruise ship it was like this really large arena type room or something at the on the other far end of the cruise ship and so these people that were coming onto the ship onto this cruise ship most of them were actually coming on for an event that was supposed to take place. It was like this really large festival or something was going on on this cruise ship. But as a part of the festival, there was like this, this, um, there was like some type of event that was supposed to take place in this mega arena type area you feel me and so the people were filling up this arena like i'm talking about they were they filled it up it was jam-packed and i had the sense of knowing that there were gonna be like performers um singers um preachers pastors like it was gonna be like different people um for this particular show or this particular event or whatever and so the people sat they waited and waited and nothing ever happened the 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 get the um the people who were actually spearheading this thing and the the people the performers who were actually supposed to be a part of it never showed up so there were the crew members, the people who, who were actually working on this cruise ship went down to like the bottom, like the very bottom of this cruise ship. <coughs> Excuse me. They went down to the very bottom of this cruise ship and it was kind of like this secret area that was like hidden from the public because this was like a private area where um, celebrities, um, uh, people of high, with high influence and like those people who were supposed to be a part of this show or whatever, this is the area where they were put up to stay. You feel me? And so the, the crew members or the people who, who actually worked the cruise ship, they knew the people who were supposed to be a part of this event. And so, because they never show up, they went down, you know, and they were knocking on their doors. And there were three different doors they knocked on. And they were like, you know, right next to each other. Kind of like how it looks on a cruise ship. Like, you know, how the rooms are. So, there were three rooms. And there were three doors. They knocked on all three doors. The, do the knocks went unanswered. So after a minute, you know, of them waiting and, and, you know, after a while of them knocking, they decided to kick the doors in. So they started with this, the very first door. They kicked this door in. And when they kicked it in, y'all, it was, the, the room was red. Like, it was a red light special, you know, going, going on in this room. Like, the lighting was red. It was like everything that was going on in this room was red. There were red candles um, all on the floor. And what and, and what was actually taking place was um, like this satanic worshiping type of thing, like a seance, or I think that's what you call it. It was witchcraft, say, satanic worshiping and things like that. And the person that was, you know, in the room, they were standing behind 
like the um the curtain. They were standing behind a curtain. And so one of the workers went and pulled the curtain back. And the person that was standing behind the curtain, I saw their face. And it is a person of great influence. And no, I'm not going to call names simply because I just don't think they're safe for me. You see me? I just don't think that they're safe. Now, if God tell me to reveal these names, I will. But as of right now, I'm just going to say, you know, this was a person of great stature. But when they pulled the curtain back and I saw, you know, we saw the face or they realized that they had been caught or, you know, they had been exposed. Their, their, their eyes were so big as if they had seen a ghost. And so after that, we left, they left and they went to, um, they went to the next door. Okay. When they kicked that door in, there were two men lying in bed together, but in the middle of the two men was this really large, I'm talking about super huge green anaconda looking snake. It was a large green anaconda snake and they were all, the the two men were lying in bed and the snake was in the middle of them. And um, when the guys kicked in the door, they didn't even hear him kick in the door because they were sleeping so hard. The only thing that happened was the snake started moving. And when the snake started moving, um, one of the guys threw his arm like, around the snake like he was like hugging the snake or cuddling with the snake or something and then one of the crew members went and woke them up shook them and woke them up and so then they looked and both of the men looked at each other and they was like like you know they had been exposed okay so then they went to the next room the third room and they kicked in the door of this room and when they kicked in the door of this room, this was um, a guy. And um, when they kicked in the door, he jumped up because the person that he was lying in the bed was not the person that he actually is. You know what I'm saying? Like he jumped up and he ran over and he grabbed a mask and he put the mask on and the mask was the people, the person that the public sees. And once he grabbed that mask to put that mask on, my attention went to the TV that was in his room and that it was on a news station and the, the journalist said breaking news and after that, it was like I my, my dream shifted. And so my dream shifted to the arena area where all the people were assembled waiting on this event to start or whatever. So while all of this was taking place downstairs with them kicking in the door and everything, somehow there was a really large screen, you know, like how it concerts or things like that. For the people in the bag or, you know, for all the 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 um, guests, there are teleprompters. I'm sorry, there are screens for people to, you know, be able to see a better view of the performers who are on stage. So it was like a huge screen, a very, very large screen like that. And what was happening was everything that was going on downstairs was on that screen. So the people saw all of this taking place live. Like it was live and in action. And once they saw it, like a lot of the people were mad. Some of them, you know, like it was a really big commotion. Some of them were so mad, like they stormed off the ship because the ship had not yet um, left the dock. Some of them mad, they stormed out, they they left the ship you know they were mad they were upset they couldn't believe it 
Some people were just sitting there like in disbelief. Some were crying. But check this out, y'all. Some of the people were like jumping off the ship into the water. Because remember, you know, even though the ship was docked, it was still docked on water. Some of these people were jumping off the ship, committing suicide into the water. And after that, my dream ended. And so I actually forgot about this dream because this was a dream that I did not want to even talk about. Like, I was like, God, these people going to think I am crazy or whatever. And God had actually started revealing this to me. But this is not the first time that I've actually had a dream about people of high influence being exposed people um you know with great influence people with high um with celebrity status you know what i'm saying celebrities um these highly iconic or highly influential people these iconic people however you want to put them you know what i'm saying these so-called famous or you know what we know as famous people or whatever so god has been speaking to me about people be, you know, were going to be revealed and things were going to be exposed since 2021, y'all. Since 2021, God has been speaking to me because back in 2021, God actually showed me a dream of specific people um, who were basically satanic worshipers god god revealed to me that they were not who they claimed to be and i never said anything to anybody besides my family and the people who i'm actually close to because i just don't want to put that out there like that you know what i'm saying like i knew what god said but i know you know how people are you feel me i know how people you know they when when they love something they love something you know what i'm saying and, and and who am i to try to make you believe what i'm saying you feel me so i never even tried to tell anybody what god had said i never tried to tell anybody what i had dreamed what god what i had heard just my family and even when i told my family like most of them didn't believe me they were just looking at me like oh okay like because, you know, when I get to talking and telling them what God said, like, they be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, girl, you scared me or something like that. But my cousin, she was listening. Like, she believed me because, you know, we like, we right here. Like, we're both on this spiritual journey. Like, we, we're both rocking this thing out with God because we've both been called and chosen by God. So we understand this, you feel me? And so God had actually been showing me this and over the, since 2021, God has been showing me more and more and more and more about this. And God has been telling me, speak it. I need you to let them know. I need you to warn my people. I need you to say what I'm telling you to say. And I was like, uh-uh, God. Like, I don't want to talk about that. That ain't what I... That ain't what I want to talk about. Like, these people not going to want to listen to me. Like, these people ain't going to believe what I'm saying. You feel me? And so, I didn't do it. Like, I didn't tell y'all. I, I didn't come to the... To the you know, to my YouTube channel. Well, back in 2021, I didn't even have a YouTube. I didn't have a YouTube channel where I was coming on, you know, posting videos. I had a channel, but I wasn't using it like this. But anyway, um, I didn't do it. I was being totally disobedient to God because I didn't do what he told me to do. I didn't say what he told me to say. And so God had to, you know, check me. God had to get me in order. God had to reprimand me. Yeah, I get punished too. When I don't do what God say, do listen, I get punished too. Like none of us are exempt from God's punishment. None of us are exempt from God's wrath. God is no respect, respecter of man. He has no person that he loves more than the other. You feel me? Like God is a just God. So when God tells you to do something, when God tells you to say something, listen, do it. 
because if not, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. And I, I felt it like I had to go through some things because of my disobedience. But at the end of it, you know what I'm saying? God does nothing to harm us. Even when we have to go through things um, to learn a lesson, like it's still all for our good and ultimately for God's glory. And so anyway, back to um, what I was talking about with the dream. So after that dream ended, you know, God started speaking. And the first thing that God said was, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. God said, I am exposing people. So keep your eyes open. Like that's what he was saying. Like open your eyes. And so lately, while I while I was away, you know what I'm saying? And, and listening to God and talking to God, hearing from him and, you know, conversing with him and chopping up with him and all that good stuff. He began to reveal more and more and more and more and more. So let me try to break this down to you the way that God broke it down to me. Okay. So, um, the, the cruise ship basically that was having like this festivity or this festival type thing, God is saying like that is like transportation you know cruise ship is transportation but god was saying like this was like of the enemy this was of the devil like this this whole thing was um something that was it was not god that's why the people were lined up selling stuff up against the walls and all of the rigmarole and all that stuff was going on because God said, you know, this was a means of transportation that was actually sent, you know, by Satan. Okay. So then um, the large, the amount of people that were coming onto the cruise ship, what God said about that is that these people... Um, these celebrities and these iconic people, these people with great influence, they, they have a large following. They have a large, um, yeah, they have a large following. There are so many people. I'm talking about thousands, millions of people are following, you know what I'm saying? These people, they are, they love them. They are in love with them. They will follow them. Wherever they go, you feel me? Like they will, they will come to to see them perform or hear them speak or whatever the case may be. And so that was the purpose of the large crowd. God said that's because these people have a very huge, really, really, really huge following. Like there are so many people who who follow these people. Who follow the, yeah, who follow them or whatever. And so that was the significance of like the really large crowd. And so the rooms, so the first room where it was basically like a red light special, that was all like I knew, you know, already that that was demonic. That was straight witchcraft, straight from the, enemy straight from the piece of hell you feel me but the person that was in this room i wasn't i wasn't shocked because this is the same person that god has shown me had shown me in 2021 as well this is one of the people that god had shown me in 2021 so i wasn't really shocked that it was them you feel me but their look on their face as if they had seen a ghost because they had been exposed. God said that they know that their time is coming. Like that, that exposure, God said that he, their time is up. Like they know that they are about to be exposed. And so the next, the next room where the two men were lying in bed with the snake. We all know that the snake is um, symbolic to the enemy. 
um, the snake, a snake is sneaky. You feel me? A snake is conniving. Um, a snake is, is smart. You feel me? And, um, basically what God is saying is, um, there are people, um, and let me go back to the first room because not only is this person, God showed me this person, but what God was saying, the significance about this room is that for some reason, God kept saying Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. God is, is exposing, he is bringing down these demonic altars, these satanic altars. God is exposing you people who are um, playing with his name. You're using his name for fame is what God is saying. God said these people, they use his name. They say, you know, when, when they're um, around people or when they're on the stage, they say, you know, they call God's name or whatever. God said, they are so far from me and I am going to expose them. So this is not just one person. God is about to cause a great exposure, not only in Hollywood, but he specifically said Hollywood. But there is about to be a great exposure in the in Hollywood land, in the world of Hollywood, in the world of these celebrities, these iconic people, these people of great influence. People um will will great statuses. You feel me? Like world leaders, pastors, preachers, actors, actresses, singers, performers, um, producers, um um, authors, um, movie writers, all of these, like God is about to expose you all. God is about to expose this, the satanic, um, this occult is the word I'm hearing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God said there is, there is an occult that is, is there's a secret occult that so many people in the in the industry are a part of and God is about to open the eyes he is well he's already doing it he's already doing it because who oh lord thank you holy spirit that's what God is saying y'all listen this right this word is is burning that is is causing me to like lose my breath and get like like I'm I'm so Amped up, you feel me? I gotta get this word out. But God is exposing y'all. Like God is exposing people, and that's why God is saying, "Open your eyes, don't be deceived. It's all me. This is my doing." So listen, when you see, as you see, because you've already been seeing, you know, what I'm saying people coming out telling their stories about these different um, celebrities, these different pastors, the preachers, the elders, the bishops, these um, top world leaders, these people of great influence. Like you see it, you've been seeing it, but this is not the end. It's just beginning. God said it is only the beginning. God is about to, to, to turn this thing upside down. Like God is really about to shock you. You feel me? God is about to let you see some some stuff. And so, anyway, to in the second room, the two the two men who were lying with the snake, God said that's significant of um homosexuality and people playing on the enemy, playing with the enemy. Basically, he said laying with the enemy and playing with the enemy. So basically what he's saying is that these are people who are actually participating in evil or demonic things. Like they know that they are, are, you know, they know what they're doing. They know that they are laying with the enemy. They know they are sleeping with the enemy. And it's not sleeping in a physical sense. It's like, like a, a, a um, you know how you just say you sleeping with the enemy, like. You know who you you know who you're dealing with. You feel me? Like 
it's in that type of sense. You feel me? Like, these people are aware of what's going on. Like, they know that this this is not God. They know exactly what they're doing. But God said this, this represented homosexuality because these two men were homosexual. They, like, they were, it was a, it's private now. Like, nobody knew. Nobody knows. Nobody would have known had those, um, in my dream, had those workers not kicked in the door and, you know, surprise them and expose them. But it's so funny because when they kicked in the door in my dream, they didn't even hear it. And God is saying that's because they are so deep into this stuff, like that they're not even paying attention to what's going on around them because they are so deep into it they are that that is like their sleep their sleep to the knowledge of god like they're so deep into this demonic world this satanic world um they're running with the enemy they're they're participating in things that are not a god and they're so deep into it that they're not it's almost like they're, they're not even recognizing anything else. They're not paying attention to anything else. You feel me? And so that was what I got from that room. And the third room where the guy got up, like he was so surprised and he was one person, but he put on the mask of another person or who he actually pretends to be to the world or to, you know what I'm saying? to his followers or whatever. And um, that what God was saying with that is that so many people in, in you know, in this industry, and I, don't, and I also feel like it's not just the, the music industry. I'm sorry, not the music industry. It's not just this, you know, Hollywood. It's not just the iconic world. It's not just them. Like God is revealing people all around us. But God is specifically speaking on these people because for some reason, like when, when I'm hearing it, I hear it like God is angry. God God is tired. You feel me? God is angry and God is, is saying, now I'm about to do something. Like I've sat back long enough. I've, you know, I've sat back long enough or, you know, it, it's almost like that's what I'm feeling. Like God is, is saying, like, I'm I'm about to show you something. Like, let, let me go ahead on and show you what's really going on. So in this third the third room, you know, the guy got up and put the mask on. So God said a lot of these people aren't who they say they are. A lot of them aren't who they're they're portraying to be, like underneath they're somebody else like they're the sheep and you know they're the wolf in sheep clothing or whatever and so then the on the tv screen there was a the news journalist it was on the news you know station it was like on a, on a news channel and the journal the journalist said breaking news and so god pointed out to me and what god said is a lot of this is going to make the news like a lot of it is going to be breaking news and we've already been seeing that as well we've been seeing a lot of breaking news we've been seeing a lot of things happening in the iconic in, in the iconic world in in hollywood with you know so many different people but like i said not just hollywood but in the land of the holly influential people we've been seeing a lot of stuff coming to the light we've been seeing a lot of people telling their stories we've been seeing so much of people um talking about somebody else or telling wanting to tell their truths you feel me and god is saying this is all him so God is saying they will be exposed. They will be revealed. And so then after that, the, my dream shifted to the, the arena area where the huge screen 
was showing everything live and in action that was taking place down, you know, in the bottom where the the three doors, you know, where those three rooms were. My dream shifted to that. And so God said that this is going to be a, a, an exposure that the world will see. The world will see this. The world will witness this. The world will witness their demise. The world will witness their exposure because they've done so much bad, so much demonic, so, so much demonic stuff in private and in the dark. But God said he's going to bring it to the light and he's going to, and the world is going to see it. The world will know who these people are and the things that they are capable of and that they've been doing and all that stuff. You feel me? And so that's why God is saying, pay attention, open your eyes, don't be deceived because God is causing this. Like God even pointed out, he was like, this is what God said to me. You see how so much is going on on YouTube where people are coming out, speaking up about different things, about different people. Um, they're telling on one another. They're going against one another. These are people who were actually like um, working, who used to work together. You know what I'm saying? Um, people who used to be friends, people who who, you know what I'm saying, used to run with other people. But now, now what's going on? Now you see so many of these people, they, they've they fallen out. They're no longer friends. Um, they've turned their backs on each other. And now the exposure is coming. Now their stories are coming out. Now you're seeing people wanting to tell their truths. And so everybody is telling on everybody Everybody is spilling the beans on everybody. Everybody is putting, you know, everybody's beans out there. They're telling their deepest, darkest secrets. All of this stuff is happening. If you pay attention, if you just open your eyes, you see it. God said, this is his doing. He has allowed the trick and the plans of the enemy to turn on him like the enemy has fallen in his own trap you feel me and so what what the you know all of this is 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 basically being pushed by the demonic world and so god is saying that he is causing these people who are a part of the demonic world, who who are practicing these satanic rituals, this witchcraft, um, this satanic worshiping, all of this stuff, um, the homosexuality, sleeping with, you know what I'm saying, the men and playing in, on the devil's playground, you feel me, laying in the bed with the enemy, um, being, you know, Coming out acting like you're one person when behind closed doors you're really somebody else. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff is getting revealed. All of this stuff is coming to the forefront. And so God is saying, believe what you see. Believe what you are seeing. Because God is so strategic in what he is doing. He's not just letting one person say something. No. God is, is stirring up the hearts of people, of these people who have been affected by these other people, these demonic people. God is, is, is pricking the heart and stirring up the hearts of people who have been mistreated by these people or who have dealt with these people, who know these people's business you feel me? Who have ran with these people and they know how these people operate. God is opening up their mouths. And now they are speaking. Now they are coming forth. Now they are revealing just who these people 
really are. And you see it. And God said, you will not be able to deny the truth because the truth will be exposed. The truth will be revealed and the world will see it. And the world will know that it's all God's doing. And the world will know that these people are not of God. And so after um, after, you know, in my dream, after it went to the scene or it went to the part where the people saw it on the screen or whatever, you know, then they started, songs started getting up. Um, they, they stormed out, they got off the boat, they, they left off the ship that was fussing or whatever. That represents the people who were like, okay, I get it. Like, I'm no longer going to follow them. Like, so those were the people, you know, in that sense. Then there were people who were just still sitting there, like, in awe, who couldn't believe it or whatever. Those are the people, you know, like, because all of these people, let, let's just get it straight. All of these people were there because they were following them. Like, you know, they were there to see whatever was going on. They were there to participate in the festival, in the, in, in this you know, event that never even took place. They were there, you know, because there was someone who was going to be on this stage or who was going to be a part of this that they like, that they follow. You feel me? So, like, some of the people who were mad, you know, they stormed out. There were some people who just sat there in their seats, like, in a daze, just looking or whatever. Um, God said, these are the people who are, like, you know what I'm saying? They're confused. Um, they they don't know like which way to go. So these are some these are people who are, you know, like they they're just confused. Like they don't want to believe it. Part of them want to believe it and, and part of them don't. Like they just really can't believe what they, you know, they're gonna be the people who are like, you know, I wanna believe, but then I don't. Like, I know I saw what I saw, but I don't know. You feel me? And then, so, like, there were people who were crying. These are the people who are just, like, like, they are some deep followers. Like, they love everything about these people. Like, you can't really tell them nothing about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're hurt. They can't believe it. Da, 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 da. And then, you had the people who actually, like, jumped ship. Like, who took a dive into the water, committed suicide. Now, these are the people, <coughs> excuse me, God said, these, you will have some people who just might <clears throat> take their lives after finding out that the people who they have been following all this time are not who they say they are. You may have people, you're going to have some people who are going to just fall out. You're going to have some people who, who, you know what I'm saying, are, are you know, are going to be like, okay, God, I hear you. I, I get it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to listen to them no more. I'm not going to follow them no more. Like, okay, God, like, I'm mad. You know, I'm mad that they played me. Like, I feel played, but, you know, God, I get it. And then you're going to have those people who are going to be like, mm, like, I know what they're saying, but... Mm, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have those type of people. And then you're going to have those people who are going to just be so sad because they're just going to be in so much disbelief. They can't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you're going to have those people who are just like, they're going to take their own. They're not like, they're not going to be able to take it. Like some of these people are so deep in it. They're so, they're so invested. They're so, in, they're so vested or invested in these, these celebrities and these iconic people and stuff like they just love them so much that in their mind, they do no wrong. And so you got people like that, um, who follow some of these people that God has shown me that this is, you know, going to take place with. 
And some of these people are just not going to be able to take it. You feel me? They're not going to be able to take it. Like, they don't even know these people. But they like, you may just see some people who take their lives because they find out that these people aren't who they say they are. And then God also said that even some of these people, some of the iconic people, some of these people, like, some of them may even take their life because of this exposure, this great exposure that some of them are not going to be able to withstand the pub publicity, the backlash that they're going to be receiving. Some of them, they're because they know, you know, some of them know that, like, there's gonna there's a price to pay behind this. Like their world is gonna come tumbling down. Their following is gonna go to nothing. You feel me? Because now you're being exposed. Now people don't want to have anything to do with you. Now people know exactly who you are. And so, y'all listen. All I'm saying is just get ready, prepare yourselves because God is about to. Blow your mind. Like, God's about to shock you. Your mouth is going to be like, girl. <sighs> really? Like, you feel me? Like, it's going to be just that deep. Because God ain't playing. Like, God is about to come through here and do some straightening, straightening. You feel me? Like, God is about to come through here and, and give some people some act right. He's about to pass out the act right, okay? And so God doesn't want us to be so caught up into other people that it all that it, it becomes like a worship. You know what I'm saying? It, it, some of these people um, have followers who actually like worship the ground they walk on. Like they worship them. They do no wrong. And, and, and in a sense... God, well, you know, God is saying, like, you pretty much made these people your God because if they do no wrong, you will believe them over what God is saying. Or if God sends a message, you don't believe it, and it's from God. But because you're so deeply invested you're so deep into these people, like you follow them on every social media, you know, site there is, you know, they mama name, you know, they daddy name, you know, they sister's name, you know, their family, you know about them, you know where they from, where they grew up at. Like you think, you know, these people and God is like, child, listen, you don't know the half. You don't know them like you think, you know, them. you only know what they show you. You only know what you see. But listen, under the surface, behind closed doors, <laughs> they're not who you think they are. They're not who they say they are. There are hidden agendas. There are occults. There are, there are so many things going on in this celebrity iconic world. Highly influential, whatever you want to call it. There is so much demonic stuff going on. Like, you wouldn't believe it. You feel me? You wouldn't believe it. But God allowed me to get a deeper revelation. God allowed me to see deeper into this and to see things clearly. Like, God gave me clarity on this. And listen, y'all. Y'all know. I ain't one that's going to get on here and tell you something just because it sounds good, just to get a view, just to get some likes. That ain't me. Because whether I get one view, no views, a thousand views, a million views, it doesn't matter. God's word is God's word. And God's word will always stand. And whenever I come on this camera, you better believe what I'm saying came from the mouth of the Lord to my ears and through my mouth. You feel me? But I will never get on this camera. Listen, please hear me well. Your dope sister will never come on this camera and just tell you something just to be playing with your ears because people do, and as the Bible say, in the last days, people will have itching ears 
And what that means is they gonna they want to hear stuff. Like they just want to know stuff. They they and they gonna go along with everything they hear. Like you you feel me? They gonna have itching ears to to just hear stuff, and they are gonna go along with it. They are gonna take it and they are gonna run with it. But God said, be discerning. Keep your eyes open. Woe to the people. Woe to the people who who believe the the evil things. Who thinks good is evil and evil is good. I think that's what it says. Woe to the people who treats evil as good and good as evil. Woe to you. Meaning, be careful. Pay attention. Be cautious. Woe. Like, stop. Step back. Listen to God. Because if not, the next thing is going to be destruction. God's going to do something. God's going to make a move. But God always give us warnings. There is always a warning before the destruction. And now it's time. Now it's about to be destruction. Now it's about to be exposure. Now it's about to be revelation. Now you are about to see people for who they really are. Now the truth is about to be revealed. And so y'all listen, God is saying, open your eyes, open your ears. Don't be deceived. Pay attention to what's going on in this world around you. Because these people, you may say, oh, I just, I just listen to them on the radio. I like their songs. I like their movies. Um, I like them. I like the way they dress. I like the way they move. They don't seem, they don't seem like they're that, like they are that type of person. Um, I've heard them talk about God. Um, when they've been on a award show, they reverence God. Um, you may even say about a pastor, oh, he can preach, child. He can do this. He has a, a mega following. He has a mega church. This, that, or the third. Listen. Listen. I don't care what it looks like. God is saying, don't be fooled. Don't be deceived. It's not what it seems. It's not what it appears to be. These people are not who they say they are. <clears throat> and so, therefore, God is about to show you who they are, what they're doing, their motives. You feel me? What's being done in the dark is about to come to the light. It's about to be revealed in a major way. In a major way. God said this will go live this will be exposed to everyone. Everyone. Everybody. The world will see it. Breaking news. Okay? So listen, y'all. I had to get this word out there. Like, I've been sitting on this since March. Well, actually before March. Because I've had other dreams. I didn't want to speak on it. You feel me? Like, it's been burning on the inside of me, but I just didn't want to do it. I had to take some time away. I had to talk to God. You know what I'm saying? I had to, to just get some clarity. Make sure, like, God, is this really what you're telling me to say? Like, God, I don't want to do it. Like, why I got to do it? You feel me? And God said, speak my word. I put it inside of you. I put it in your belly. I gave it to you. Speak my word. And so here I am, speaking God's word, giving it to you the way that he gave it to me. And so listen, y'all, you ain't got to take it from me. You ain't got to believe me. What I want you to do is with every word, I don't care who it is. It can be your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your pastor, you feel me, your husband, your wife. I don't care. Whenever you receive a word, whenever you hear a word, whenever a word comes across your spirit, your ears, whatever, always, always, always take that word back to God in prayer. And God will confirm to you whether it's for you or not. God will give you confirmation. God will give you clarity. God will give you just what you need to know if a word is for you. 
if you need to grab hold to it, if he's speaking to you, you feel me? God will tell you, he'll confirm it. He'll, he'll give you reassurance. He'll give you peace about it. You feel me? So always take every word, even this one. Absolutely this one. You feel me? Take it back to God. Ask God to show you. Reveal to you. Maybe he, he may show you, you know what I'm saying, who these people are. But ask God to, you know what I'm saying, make it plain and make it clear. Okay? Because we all know that once God speak a word, it ain't going to return back to him void. It's going to accomplish the mission in which he has set it out to accomplish. That word is going to do what he says it's going to do. So if God said he's about to reveal and expose some things, guess what? God is about to reveal and expose some things. If God said it's going to go, it's going to make worldwide news, guess what? It's going to make worldwide news, okay? So listen, God is not a man that he shall lie. He is not a man that he shall lie. And I ain't, a, I'm not his child that I'm going to sit here and put words in his mouth. You feel me? I'm not going to get on here and say something he didn't tell me to say, okay? So listen, y'all. Know that God love you. Your adult sister love you. But always make sure that you are loving on you. And remember, you're only dope because God is dope. Don't ever, ever, ever play with my God. Period. I love you all. Y'all be blessed. And I will catch you all on the next video. Peace. And oh yeah, listen. Make sure that you all like, subscribe, comment. Share this video out with whomever you think needs to hear this word. You know what I'm saying? Share it out with, you know, your, your friends, your family. I appreciate each and every last one of you. Thank you to all of my subscribers, all of the new subscribers. I want to say welcome to the dope family. Um, I got some news, you know, that I'm going to be sharing soon, but I'm not going to do it on this one because we're already an hour in. Um, I knew this video was going to be long. But, um, yeah, I'll share that on one of the other videos that I'm doing because I got several other words that I will be doing. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you. I love each and every last one of you all. Thank you all for sticking it out with me. Thank you for not leaving. You know, those of some did leave. And, you know, that means that you just not called to me. But to those who are called to me, to those who are called to my channel, I thank God for you. I thank you for rocking out with me. I thank you for being a part of this dope family. I love you all. You all have a blessed night. And I will see you all on the next video. Peace.